Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial here to show you how to do this coat of arms project. Um, so overall, first of all, let's go through the instructions. Uh, that's probably the most important thing you need to do. Um, the background, what a coat of arms was, is in Europe during the Middle Ages, knights would wear a full body of armor, which means that if you're wearing a full body of armor from head to toe, you can't see who that person is on a battlefield or in a tournament, like a jousting tournament. So in order for them to set themselves apart, knights would create uh, a coat of arms that they would decorate on their shields or on their flags, which are also known as banners, with different colors and symbols that represented them. Okay, Knights would have their symbol on a garment that they would wear on top of their armor called a surcoat, also known as a tabard. Okay. Over time, these colors and symbols were passed down and became family symbols and became known as their coat of arms. And as time went on, more and more families had a coat of arms and some towns even adopted them. In an age when many people could not read or write, the symbols became easy ways to distinguish a person, place, or a family. So coat of arms were pretty important back in this time period. What you guys need to do is create your own coat of arms for yourself, okay? So you need to think of different colors, images, or symbols, or other things that are important to you and your family. What would you want a stranger to know about you if they saw this coat of arms? There are also colors and symbols that have traditional meaning in heraldry. Heraldry is the art of creating a coat of arms. Over time, these color symbols and animals have developed and ha held significance. Use the examples below to help make yours. You need to search for an image and paste them onto the template on the next page. You should include several images so that your shield tells several things about you and your family. The images and colors should be arranged on the slide in a visually appealing way. Visually appealing. Do not just slap it on there and put 30 different pictures on there and say, yep, this is me. Okay, so here are what all the colors, symbols, and animals mean. Each one has a different meaning behind it. Here is the blank coat of arms. Okay, so first of all, I need to make this a size that I can actually read without uh, having an issue here. That looks great right there. So I need to put my name down at the, the bottom. So Bender right here at the bottom. This is going to be my coat of arms. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like the color... Uh, let's do purple for royalty because I'm a teacher and I'm royal. Okay, so maybe I will create a shape here. And I will just drag it into this box. Okay, there's my, my box. I will go up here to the fill location and I will put purple. And I filled in that box with the color purple for loyalty. Now let's go ahead and look in here. Uh, I'll do a crown for authority because I'm a teacher and I'm authoritative, okay? I need to go in here to insert, go down to images, search the web, and I will have to look up a crown, okay? Ooh, this looks like a good one. This looks like something that would be on a, a, chat, or a, a coat of arms. I like this one a lot. Let's, let's, let's insert this one. I like that. That looks like something that would appear on a coat of arms. Let me, let me make it a little bit smaller, drag it into this box here, okay? That looks very good. I like that a lot. Now I would go back through and try to fill in the rest of these to uh, make my, my coat of arms fill out. Now I will tell you, this one, these, if you want to color these bottom ones, they're a little tricky to do. So if you're going to want to do that, you need to go down into this, this line tool click polyline and you need to just go ahead and outline the box okay so you'll go up like this outline it up go across here to here then outline it back down and connect it and once it's connected you do the same thing you can fill it let's look at a different color uh let's do gold because i'm i'm very generous i'm a very generous teacher so i'm gonna go in here go in here click gold and now that's filled in for that color and now i need to look for another symbol okay that's it uh please let me know if there's anything else that i can help you with with this assignment 
Um, it's pretty straightforward and we could get some really cool looking coat of arms. I would ideally like to print some of these out and post them around my room because I think it's such a cool idea. Um, thanks guys.